Hi everyone! My name is Miss Rustad. I usually teach high school Spanish, so this is new territory for me, but I am super excited to be teaching you guys some English language arts this week. Um, I have taken a lot of classes about this stuff, and I do have a master's degree in this area, so parents, if you're watching, I'm not just some random person trying to teach your kid about English. I do have some English coursework and training. So, um, that being said, I am super excited, but bear with me as, I mean, you've been watching these videos. This is awkward for everybody, right? <laughs> so, um, just so that I don't keep rambling about myself, let's jump right in. So, we are in week five, and we are identifying the main idea that is our purpose, that is our goal for this week. So today, we will be able to understand what the concept of main idea means. What does that mean as a concept? So if you've been watching your other ELA videos, those fantastic teachers have already been discussing this idea of main idea. Um, so what we're going to do this week is we are just going to dig a little bit deeper into what that means so that hopefully we can get a better understanding. And this is something that you're going to continue to do for every class ever. Um, this is something that every topic, every writing you're ever going to do, reading you're ever going to do, everything has a main idea. So this is important stuff and I'm excited to go on this journey with you. You will need a pencil or a pen for this journey. And you will also need paper for this journey. So if you have a notebook, I would highly recommend using a notebook. I know for me, if I just write stuff down on random, like I have random papers everywhere and it's a mess and I will never know where anything is. But the stuff that I have in notebooks, I know exactly where it is all the time and it's nice and organized. So if that's something that you have access to, I would highly recommend using a notebook. Um, but it is week five, so if you've been doing what you've been doing and it's been working for you, then do you. Um, and you, if you have access to Instagram or Twitter, that might be helpful, but definitely something that's not required. Um, I'll be showing you screenshots and stuff so you don't need it um, as a requirement for this. So, we will be talking about very foundational, base level stuff today. We'll be talking about the words main, the words idea and main idea together, as well as topic, and what topic may or may not have to do with what a main idea is. So, starting off, you have your paper in front of you, right, and your pen. We are going to think about what does main mean? So we have three options, and I want you to write if you think it's A, B, or C that is most similar to the word main. So, does main mean interesting? Does main mean complicated or does main mean important? A, B, or C. Take a couple seconds and write it down. You done? <laughs> okay. So main is most similar to the word important. So write down main equal sign important. We'll think about it a little more later. Next, I want you to think about what does the word idea mean? Which of these is most similar or most like the word idea? Is an idea more like an experiment, a thought, or a detail? So take a couple seconds, same deal as before, write down A, B, or C. Okay, you done? <laughs> okay, idea is closest in meaning to a thought. So now you can write down idea equal sign thought. T-H-O-U-G-H-T, not the other one. Do people still say that? Okay. So now we're going to dig a little bit deeper. So main is an adjective, right? And adjectives are descriptive words. They describe nouns. So um, it's an ad adjective that can mean something that's the most important uh, for the most part or something that is able to be used in isolation. So what does that mean? So a main thing can function on its own in isolation. So if you were to take a sentence like, he is running quickly. Which of these two options could function in isolation? 
he is running or is running quickly. He is running, right? So that's what we would call the main clause, that main part of the sentence, because is running quickly, I don't know who you're talking about, that can't function on its own, so that's not the main clause. He is running, so that can function on its own, which means it's the main part of the sentence. So some synonyms or some words that are similar to the word main are leading or chief or principal. So another way to think about main is the principal of your school right, is the one who is the main person, the go-to, the boss, the biggest part of our school system for each school would be the principal. So think of the principal as the main person. And then idea is a noun, right? So nouns are usually people, places, or things, right? So a noun that means a thought or an opinion, a notion or a concept, or an impression. So that's kind of a weird noun, right? So if I say a coffee mug, that's a very concrete noun. I can point to it, you know what it is, there's no confusion. But I can't really point to an idea, right? I can't really point to a concept or an opinion. But it's something that I formed in my head. And that's the important part, is that it is a thing, it just is something that exists in our mental space and not necessarily in our physical space, if that makes sense. Some synonyms for the word idea are intention, belief, or view. And now if we put those two things together, we get main idea. So the main idea is the big impression or thought that we get from the text or that the author wants us to get from the text. So. Main ideas are backed up with supporting details. So if something is supporting something else, then that usually means it's helping it out, right? So if I say, I need your support during this time, I'm saying, I need your help during this time. So your supporting details are things that support the main idea, that help the main idea get across to the reader. So we'll talk a bit, of, a bit more about this later on as well. And again, if you've been watching your other videos, you should have a general idea of what I'm talking about here, right? Um, and finally, all paragraphs in longer texts have main ideas. So there's no such thing as a paragraph that isn't trying to get something across to you. Every sort of article or blog post or paragraph or poem, everything has a main idea. And that main idea is that big major takeaway that you got out of the text or that the author wanted you to get out of the text. So can we think about, for a second, what is something that we might use on social media to express, like, the main idea of our post? Think about it. Ah, it's a hashtag. So if you are like me and you're old, this is a pound sign, but now it's a hashtag, I guess. So hashtag is something that you might put at the end of your post, right, so that People can find it easier, um, or you might be summarizing or pointing to the topic of your post. So let's talk about this word, topic. If I type in the hashtag purple t-shirts onto Instagram, then here is what I get. I get a whole bunch of posts with purple t-shirts in them. And that's exactly what I'm asking for if I'm typing in purple t-shirt, right? So the topic of these posts is that there's a purple t-shirt in them. So, is that the same thing as a main idea? Mm -mm. Nope. The topic is not the main idea. The main idea is always a full sentence. So, purple t-shirt is not a full sentence. But if I were to write a paragraph about my favorite purple t-shirt and all of its details, then the main idea of that paragraph might be my favorite t-shirt is purple, or this is my favorite purple t-shirt, something like that. So a topic is usually a word or two, a phrase. A main idea is always a full sentence. So for next time, I want you guys to think about on Twitter, which do people still use Twitter? Eh. Think about it. Would the main idea, would that concept of main idea be more similar to a hashtag or to the tweet itself? So think about that for last time. Maybe write down your answer um, underneath the diligent notes that you've been taking. Um, 
So what was the main idea of our lesson today? Ooh, very meta. Meta is like, I'm talking about, or I'm thinking about what we thought about before within the lesson. Anyway, <laughs> so what was the main idea of our lesson today? We talked about the word main, which was like big, important, can function on its own. We talked about the word idea, which is like a notion, a concept, or a thought. We talked about main idea, which is like the main impression, right? The big impression, the most important notion, the takeaway. And we talked about topic, which is not main idea, but it is similar, right? So look over your notes, keep them in whatever area, notebook, pile that you have on your desk for next time. We will dive a little bit deeper. I hope that this video helped uh, remind you of the foundations and we will start digging in a little more next time. See you then.